Hello everybody and welcome to the Real Tarot 1123. I am going to be doing a general monthly forecast and I'm doing this for Capricorn now. Okay, so um, this is going to be for June. Keep in mind time and energy is fluid, right? So this will, if it resonates, it resonates. If not, don't force it. Watch your, uh, the videos for your rising sign, moon sign or Venus. Uh, and take it from there. There are some activities in the sky for June. We have, of course, the solar eclipse on June 10th. Then we have uh, Mercury retrograde, uh, Jupiter retrograde, as well as Saturn retrograde. So Mercury is going to retrograde on May 30th to June 23rd from Gemini to Taurus. Saturn is going to retrograde from May 23rd to October 11th. It's in Capricorn and it's just going to take a couple of steps backwards into Capricorn, okay? A few degrees. Jupiter is going to go retrograde June 20th to October 18th. Jupiter is in Aquarius and is going to go back to Capricorn. So please look at your charts, astrology charts, and see where all these fall, um, you know, uh, these planets fall, and then you will get a better understanding. These are, of course, general. So Mercury is associated with skin allergies, flus, colds, communication issues, computers. Um, I would recommend you not making any major financial decisions. Don't sign any new contracts. It could also cause you some sleepless nights. Um, so just watch out for that. And uh, with Jupiter, if it is in a favorable position in your chart, whichever house it touches, th those houses, the energies of those houses or what those houses are responsible for are going to expand. They're going to blow up in a nice way. They're going to increase. They're going to uh, multiply, right? But if it is in an unfavorable position, then obviously whatever those houses represent, it's going to kind of not do so well and with jupiter going retrograde there is a, a possibility of things getting delayed there is a possibility of uh, um, and also if it is an unfavorable position uh, maybe if you're getting married that could be delayed depression exhaustion mood changes mood swings uh, major migraines pessimism fluctuating weight, um, binge eating, all those things could occur. Now with Saturn, Saturn is a taskmaster. We all know that, right? So when Saturn is in somebody's house, it is so, you know, you feel the restrictions, you feel the limitations, you feel the, uh, for the most part, you feel, you feel like your hands are bound, you're sitting on your hands, hurry up and wait type of thing. But for some people, when Saturn is exalted, then it's like whatever they touch, it's awesome. So it depends on where Saturn is in your chart, right? And we are doing this for Capricorn. And who is Capricorn ruled by? Saturn. And when it goes red, it is in your first house, Capricorn, remember? And it's going to go back to Capricorn, your first house. And your first house represents how you present yourself and you perceive yourself, how others perceive you. So obviously Saturn is there and he's going to kind of have you take a real hard look at yourself and, you know, uh, do what you need to to move on. Like I tell people all the time, don't worry when Saturn comes into your house, right? It, it is difficult. It is a tough lesson. But it's like passing a very difficult exam, right? And getting the degree and the certificate, right? As long as you attend all your classes, your attendance is fine. You do all your, uh, you know, your projects and you do all your homework and you study for the test and you pass your test. Saturn is going to say, okay, good. Okay, now passed. Go, move on. He gives you the seal of approval and you're good. So that's basically what Saturn is. But for the most part, it's easier said than done. I get it. Uh, Saturn really affected us Sagittarius for the longest time. And it was tough. I'm a Sagittarian. I know. Uh, I can speak from my personal experience. So um, having said all of those things, um, again, don't force it. When you see this reading is when this is, you're meant to see it. So, uh, and if it doesn't resonate, what's your moon sign? What's your rising sign? What's your Venus sign? Um, also, I would highly request you all to please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, hit the bell notification so that you, you get notified when I post new videos. Please leave your comments. I would love to hear from all of you. I really would. And if you have any questions regarding any particular reading that you watched, video that you watched, please send me a message. I'll be more than happy to... Um, figure that out and answer your questions or clarify or whatever you um, I'm also going to be I'm working on my own website where I'll be able to uh, offer for free all my customers the opportunity to go enter their date of birth and time of birth and place of birth and get their uh, birth charts and their you know uh, solar charts and return charts and all the stuff um, it's going to be free obviously and uh, um, 
I'm still working. It's in the draw. It's on the drawing board. So hopefully within the next couple of months, if all goes well, it'll it'll be good to go. I'm excited. Number two, the High Priestess is ruled by the Moon. All right. So let's see. Did you all watch the video I did for May, you guys? Because there was a lunar eclipse. I, I did a little bit of, uh, I touched on that as well. Uh, and again, if you want a personal reading, get in touch with me. I will incorporate astrology, numerology, tarot, or cartomancy, and even cowrie shells uh, for a reading. And uh, unless somebody says, no, I just want an astrology reading or a, a tarot reading, then I will do just that. But I typically like incorporate all of it. It just uh, gives us a better, uh, more in-depth, more detailed look at things, okay? And you got Cancer, which is a water sign. Where is Cancer? Capricorn, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cancer is your seventh house. It's ruled by the moon. The High Priestess is also ruled by the Moon, so I think the Lunar Eclipse that had might have had some effect on you guys. And keep in mind, eclipses, the energies last anywhere from three to six months. So uh, just keep that in mind. I'm just going to pull some of this random stuff right now. You got the bow, you got the bee, you're going to be busy, you're going to have to count on your wisdom do things wisely uh, and it'll all come together <laughs> trust me it will you're going to be collecting honey I believe right start off with the ace of wands page of swords two of pentacles two of wands and the lover's card wow right off the bat <laughs> all right and at the bottom you have the strength card very rarely do i do that but i was drawn to do it okay ace of wands right uh, new projects inspirations the urge to create something new definitely a new beginning a birth new ideas and then page of swords you definitely have a little bit of reflection and i feel like you're looking over your shoulder there's a little bit of uh, uh, deception and you're reflecting on that on your past actions then you have the two of pentacles which is a little bit of confusion regarding money um, and there are two you're surrounded by two choices you are juggling you're trying to find balance and then you have the two of wands definitely journey right you have to make a decision their travel plans okay you're waiting for results also possibility and then you have the lovers which is clearly uh, 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 what, I was going, what was I going to say ruled by Gemini right uh, Gemini is also going to be greatly affected by the solar um, which uh, we are all going to be affected by the solar eclipse but Gemini and Sagittarius quite a bit though so anyway um, the lovers card it's about romance it's about building new romance it's again uh, maybe an established relationship relatives loving relationships you could share with a friend etc it's that bond that's coupling that's partnership um, so you have two two and that so what is and, and you have the cancer card you have the busy bee you're going to be a little bit busy trying to collect honey uh, and then you have this now i will say this don't shoot the messenger okay don't shoot the messenger i have a feeling for some capricorns you might have stepped out of your committed relationship to have a little bit something going on on the side and now you're regretting that and that was obviously deception you're regretting having done that and you're looking over your shoulder you're juggling should i come clean should i tell should i do whatever and you're definitely wanting to move away or near to water you're contemplating moving you do have the op you do have the world in your hand but then you're also not happy that you have the world in the palm of your hand you are definitely considering moving you have to make a decision okay 
um, there are going to be some choices, there are going to be some travel plans and it is definitely affecting your love life, your committed relationship or whoever it is you are in a relationship with. So there is a little bit of deception. Uh, Capricorn, I'm sorry to say that uh, the, the deceptor is you. Okay. I'm not here to judge. I really, it doesn't matter to me, okay? Whatever rocks your boat, I'm just saying what the cards tell me. So please don't shoot the messenger, okay? It may not apply to everybody. It may apply just to you. So again, you want the freedom to fly, okay? But you have to be wise about this. Wanting to cut loose and fly, it's not, you're not going to be happy with that. But on the other hand, hand you're also wanting to, you know, solidify this relationship and tie a bow and you know come clean and say what happened and then solidify it and that sort of a thing which is why i feel that you have this juggling thing going on you can wait bernie not now you can wait for another 15 minutes please huh are you whining no need to whine no see i shouldn't have said anything can you wait we have the Eight of Swords. See, you have put yourself in this situation, y'all. Baby, wait. You have put yourself in this situation. Oh, my goodness. What in the world? Can I finish this reading, please? Oh, dog. You got dog bread. Sorry about that, y'all. He's just being a little demanding. Can you wait, baby? I don't lick my... I, do I taste salty? Huh? Can you give me 10 minutes, please? I love you. Give me 10 minutes, baby. Hold on. No, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And then we have the Two of Cups, right? Again, with the Two of Cups, we have um, the romance, the partnership, the proposals, marriage. So, yeah, I think you're kind of stepped out of the, the confines of a committed relationship. Where you regret it. You're juggling whether to come clean. You're also wanting to complete, come clean and tie the knot. Um, and you are feeling a little bit restricted uh, this is your own doing and you definitely want to do make this commitment to get peace of mind and you're working 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 away towards it <laughs> okay um, go your daddy's come go go and go daddy's come go I'll be with you in a few, puppy dog. He is such a Velcro dog. It's like, I mean, and I don't mind. He's such a, he's such a sweet baby. I love him. But sometimes it's like, dog, can I just complete this video? Can you please wait? I mean, I spent 20 minutes scratching your belly, like before I started this video. And now you're already like, mom, mom, mom type of thing, you know? Okay. And then we have the page of pentacles. So definitely a new offer, a new opportunity. Um there is definitely a younger male or female i feel like there is a little bit of an age difference in this relationship so uh, and then we have the queen of pentacles so yeah i definitely feel there is a little bit of a age difference in the relationship um i also feel that could this be something to do with maybe the individual that you were seeing on the side could be from work and older than you um so that's what i'm getting y'all like i said don't shoot the messenger okay because it's not my place to judge so we have two okay we have sagittarius okay and we have mercury so and mercury it rules Gemini so I feel that there is going to be a little bit of volatility here going on for you this month uh, Capricorns but then again I feel like it is something you created yourself I mean you have to hold yourself responsible and then anybody with the alphabet E or the letter E with the letter I see that the number three and I would say Leo as well, which is means generosity and strength. So I'm going to stop this for now because there's nothing more to say here at this point in time. It is what it is. It, I feel like you have put yourself in this situation. This is your own doing. Sorry, y'all. I'm just going to call it the way I see it. So anyway, I hope this, uh, uh, you know, 
will help you and you know uh, get through whatever situation that you're going through please leave your comments um, below i would love to hear from you all right thank you capricorns i will see you next time around bye